Hello, One Cut Studio here, and welcome to D and DIY, where I show you how to make materials to enhance your game. Do you have monsters, or perhaps characters, that know how to fly? Do you have difficulty representing those heights during combat? Well, today is your lucky day because I'm going to be showing you how to make a height indicator. So here's what we're going to need. We're going to need pill bottles that are empty and clean. We're going to need a magic marker. We're going to need some scraps of paper, a ruler, and we're going to need either uh, rubber bands or pipe cleaners. These small prescription bottles are what are called 10 dram size. You can also find them online if you don't have any prescription bottles at home. You can also find them in clear. This is the amber colored version. These 10 dram bottles are perfect for medium and smaller size miniatures, which we'll get to in just a minute. My first prototype, I started by laying the bottle horizontally. Then I took a marker and roughly figured out where the halfway point was made marks. My halfway point was 50 and then I filled in 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100. So this is uh, indicating where the character sits at uh, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet and that's what the uh, band is for. So simply put, your band goes around like so. If your character is 40 feet or 50 feet above the air, you mark it by sliding the band till it covers the numbers. In the meantime, your mini can sit in the top. What you do is you take the, the top off. This is what's called a snap cap. It has threads right here. You simply screw it on upside down and your miniature can sit right on the inside. Now I know that this character is flying at 50 feet. But you know what? I realized something. I need a common scale because if I have a larger size character on this 40 dram bottle, they're not necessarily going to line up the heights. If I go halfway and make this 50, it won't make any sense. So what I have to do is I have to measure the length, the circumference, transfer that to a piece of paper, and make a set scale. For the 10 dram bottle, make a rectangle 6 centimeters by 11 centimeters. Our scale is going to be 10 feet per half centimeter. So we draw the length up and we go every half centimeter 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up so we get to 120 which would be the top. For the 40 dram we make a rectangle that is 8 and a half centimeters by 15 and 3 quarters centimeters. So our length is, our, our length from the bottom to the top is going to be about 170 feet. But we're, since we're using the same scale, we can uh, show the characters together. It won't, it won't make a, a difference. So we have 10 all the way up to 170. And just using a pen or a black marker or a fine point, uh, because the scale is so small, uh, it, it's easier to write it in that way. And, and that way you can uh, take your time. Instead of having it written on, uh, on a bottle like this, it'll be actually a little bit easier to see because what we're going to do is we're going to take our dram and we're going to simply stick it inside. Now we have a very clear view of the indicated markers where our character is. 
Again, screw on the top. Our flying character sits right in there. Perfect base size. And then we can indicate simply by slipping on a band or a pipe cleaner. We can do the same for our 40 dram. Here's our scale. Goes on the inside. The snap top goes on top, upside down. And our two inch base fits perfectly inside. Who casts fly in the fire giant again? And here's an extra tip. Let's say you need some more height. 120 feet not cutting out for you. Simply take another 10 dram vial, add another gauge, and slide it into the top. And here you have more heights. So now my tiefling is going to be hovering up at about 200 feet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of D&D DIY. Give this video a like, leave a comment, critical hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.